is going on YouTube and how you doing today? It is your boy Jimmer here and we're back with my PC build. I hope you guys enjoyed that short little intro that I did to show you my setup and what I'm working with right now. And if you haven't already, can you please hit that subscribe button. So basically, this is a software that I use. It's called CAM, C-A-M. And it's basically for my, it controls my lights inside the PC. I'll get to that in a minute. And shows you all, shows you all this data that I really don't know what the hell it's doing like you got your CPU your GPU and your RAM load but um, what I like to see more is if you minimize this tab you get that screen and I feel like this is as someone who doesn't know a lot about PCs this is something that like I can kind of comprehend like my temperature the load on the PC currently and or load on the CPU and GPU and just stuff like that um, but I need to go back to the other screen and just show you what I'm working with with my build. So basically I have the, I'm going to butcher all of these names by the way. I have for my processor the AMD Ryzen 770. Uh, I just like these better because I was doing, I was actually doing research on this and it comes with a stock CPU cooler fan so I didn't have to buy it and a lot of people are running those rather than Intel like i7s and stuff like that. Going on to my video card, I decided to get the 1070 instead of the 1080 just to spare the hundred dollars, hundred or two hundred dollars thing, depending on where you buy them. Because I mean, it'll save me money in the future, but then I would have to buy a 4K monitor. Um, what else? 4K monitor. I forgot that. I don't well, I'd buy a 4K monitor. I ha literally have nothing for that. I'd rather get um, the refresh rate. Like I think it's like, isn't it hertz or something? I'd rather get a like 144 hertz um, monitor rather than a 4K. Cause right now I'm just like getting used to it. So I don't want to like make it like a huge jump from playing uh, console games like Xbox to like 4K. Cause I'm at the point where I'm like, oh my god, this looks horrible. Like I was looking at uh, Destiny 2 on console, and I was playing the beta, not beta, yeah, the beta on PC, and it just looked fantastic on my screen, rather to his. So it's like, Bleh! and then my motherboard, the Asus ROG um, X70R Gaming. I don't know. It's it's a good build, you know. If you ever want a good build. You can build this PC, but my favorite thing ever are my lights inside the PC. So I'll just explain. I was like, I recorded um, what my lights do previously. So as you saw, I started off with the Spectrum Wave, and it's basically all these cool colors. And basically, why I don't do this filming, I usually just use a white light because look at that. What if I just talk like this all the time? That's a problem with it. That I don't want to be playing video games and have this on my face. I like to stick to this white light. That's a nice glow. And my room right now is lights off, shades on the window completely. All of this light is from PC over here and my two desktop monitors right here. I think I get pretty good lighting. And then basically you can literally do anything with this software you can go into the games and for CSGO um, if you have a hundred percent health you'll have green lights on your monitor and like down and down and down until you get red and I think it's for more games um, but I only have CSGO I think that's compatible audio you can do the same thing with the level of audio it's like if I'm talking really loudly like I just did there the strip on um, the PC will like it'll start here and then as I get louder it'll go this way and then it'll go up and then it'll hit the max up there which I think is pretty cool uh, custom is just I don't know custom you can do whatever they want and then the smart thing is it just kind of tells you like so you don't have to look at the percentage you can just kind of glance at the numbers so basically if your CPU temperature is 20 degrees Celsius it's cold and then when it gets to 100 it's hot and then it does the same thing with CP or GPU and then FPS is kind of cool I mean like you can have it on screen but I think it's kind of cool to tell you like how well you're doing for FPS like you want more so it'll be green and then when you get bad at FPS like 20 or 30 that counter runs on it gets red so I think this is a really cool software to use just because I like all of the different things you can do with it 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. And I have, we have internet coming, and I'll explain that to you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Jake or Jimmy here. Please hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button below. And peace.